force of love. There's a force within all of us that surrounds us and is all of us together as one. This force of love is all powerful, yet this force does not force its power. It just exists and radiates like the sun. This power is everlasting. It is eternal. It can overcome any challenge or obstacle because it cannot be destroyed and it has no concept of time. We are a part of this force. We are but tiny little droplets of water in this mighty ocean. As this universe was created, a hierarchy of beings that were aligned with this source force dedicated themselves to watch over this new creation. These beings have the power to create new life in the universe, but not all beings wanted to work as a team and follow orders. So they split off and turned away. Beings that have turned away from their source will do whatever it takes to stay alive. They need our energy to live, so they connect to us by tricking our minds and projecting thoughts to us. They want us to be afraid and focused on lower desires. These beings will lie, cheat, steal, and bully in order to keep us in a lower vibration where they can get at us. Our freedom is when we increase our force of love within, we rise above these lower levels of fear and live in the higher levels of pure desire and infinite power. We must stay focused on raising our vibration and to not give in to their bullying. As we emerge strongly in our light, they will give it their all to stop our rise. Be prepared to navigate through challenging times as they will attack others close to you as well. To gain control of ourself and be immune to these attacks, we must do our inner emotional work to heal the past. When we are healed, we are at a closer vibration to our source. And because of this higher vibration, we are no longer as vulnerable to attacks. They will try. The bright light will repel them. And we generate this bright light within us with our breath and our focus, staying within ourselves, not getting distracted outside of ourselves. Their bullying is repetitive thoughts, it's energy projections, it's stirring up chaos around us with other people. And our job is to stay centered in ourselves with our breath. And they, there may be, we may be swimming in chaotic energy around us, but within us we are steady and stable. And because we are feeling so good inside, we will no longer be easily tempted to avoid our pain and choose lower desires. When pain and stress do arise, as it will here on earth, we must face our pain and be still, accepting it as a temporary experience. The love will return quicker as you learn to let go. Trust and allow everything to be as it is. As the sun rises steadily and confidently in a new day, we can stay calm and still, knowing the power of love is all around us at all times. We can relax into it and let it do its magic. As seen from the perspective of eternity by those in the higher dimensions, these lost souls in the dark will eventually tire of fighting and choose to end their suffering and struggle. The source of creation is a feeling of love that is so powerful and healing, and yet the desire to be free is so alluring that many souls will take a long time to come back and work with the divine will. There's a lot of power gained when we come through the process of experiencing free will. We begin to choose what is best for all of us because we can feel each other. We eventually realize that everyone is a part of us. All of our feelings are connected together. We are all one. By surrendering our selfish desires and choosing to work with the greater order and plans of the divine will, we feel the flow of source energy moving within us in every breath. We feel strong, stable, secure, and content in our body. To deepen our connection to this force, we must cleanse ourselves by accepting all aspects of ourselves and others without judgment because all life has a right to exist and experience itself 
with free will. The depth of love that you feel with others is directly related to the depth of love that you feel with yourself. So make time to work on yourself, observing yourself and your relation to others. Are you treating others how you wish to be treated? Are you treating yourself how you wish to be treated? Even though it can be difficult, I encourage you to forgive yourself for any past mistakes. You were doing the best you could. I encourage you to choose unconditional love for yourself. When you forgive yourself for another, you release a judgment. Judgments keep us stuck to others and in a lower dimension. When you release a judgment, there is a feeling of freedom. This releases you to live and breathe deeper in the force of love. As we heal and forgive ourselves, we will create the opportunity for us to live in the new golden age. A future so lovely and pure, we will live in paradise. The earth will be restored to its brilliant beauty and we will love each other as one human family. We will be telepathic and communicate to each other through thought as we prepare to explore the universe, seeding it with our new species that is rooted in love. <laughs>